Hello again, welcome to another Nastran INCAD quick tip video. We're looking today at a couple of minor issues that might confuse you when you first start out with Nastran INCAD. It's an issue with selection and an issue with units. And to look at these two, we're going to focus on adding a concentrated mass into the model. These two tips are relevant to other types of FEA entities you might be adding into the analysis, but let's just focus on concentrated mass here for an example. So I'm going to right click and say new concentrated mass here. What's a concentrated mass? Well, it's saying I don't want to model a particular area of my component, my assembly, and to have to mesh it and accept the time delay that that's going to cause. I just want to represent it by a point mass of a certain kilograms. And Nastran INCAD will sort out the inertia of this point mass and so on and so forth. It's a convenience tool. So firstly, let's take a look at a units issue you might come across here. I'm going to just choose to add a manual concentrated mass for now, which just allows me to put a mass on uh, a vertex or multiple vertices on the model. And I want to type in my mass in kilograms, but wait a minute, it's asking me for a mass in T. So this confused my tiny brain initially, what's T? Well, of course it's tons, but why is it asking me to input this mass in tons? And what if I don't want to do the sum myself? Do I have any options with that? Well, let's try typing in a mass of 0.1 T for tons here and just say OK. And then we can see that the concentrated mass has been added to the analysis called impact itself. And if I double click on this concentrated mass in the analysis uh, to edit it, I can see that it does indeed have a mass of 0.1 tons. Well, we can change our units here. So let me delete this uh, remove this concentrated mass from the analysis. Let's go up to our units and right click and edit the units here. You can see they're coming from the CAD model at the moment and the mass is indeed in tons. So I'm going to change this to SI units and I can see that the mass is now in kilograms. So if I say OK, I'm going to add this concentrated mass into the, into the analysis again. Now I've still got it in my model tree down here. As we saw in another Nastran INCAD tip recently, this model tree is your library of favorites or recently used FEA entities. So I, if I double click on this, I've still got it down here with the vertices I attached it to and I can simply drag this up now into the model. I can drag it into idealizations and there's my concentrated mass been added into the analysis. Now because I've changed my units to SI, if I double click on it now, I'll see that the units of this concentrated mass are now in kilograms. So what we can learn from this is that the model tree appears to be set to standard units, perhaps the units of the file when the Nastran INCAD analysis was first created. And only in the analysis tree um, responds to the units you change in here. So um, I would have to add the concentrated mass in tons and then maybe I can edit it in kilograms when I get up here yeah, for more convenience if I don't want to do the sums myself and I want to work in familiar units. So that is point number one that might confuse you. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, point number two is I want to just talk about selection very briefly as well. So I'm going to delete this mass out of the uh, analysis here. And let's just go and edit it in our favorites uh, in the model browser down here by double clicking on it. And uh, we saw that we could click multiple vertices uh, to place a concentrated mass on them, um, which, which is fine. If I go to an automatic concentrated mass though, um, what am I selecting here? Well, it's saying select a body. Now, sometimes you can select a body and a face in Nastran INCAD, a body or a face or a vertex. Um, so let's, uh, let's try and pick a body here. Now, sometimes you might get this issue. I'm trying to pick a body and it's not letting me. What's going on there? Well, if I right click and select other in Inventor, this is standard Inventor tool, you can see as far as Nastran's concerned, there's two things going on here. There's a surface one and there's also solid 
one. And you see if I click on solid one, that will allow me to select the entity of the body uh, to add as a concentrated mass. And then I'd have to do the same thing with my density here. This is always going to be in tons per millimeters cubed. So I'd have to add it in tons per millimeters cubed. And then when it gets into the analysis, I can edit it in kilograms. Few. Okay, so the quick tips were feel free to edit the units of the analysis here for convenience, but remember this will not affect the units in the model tree down here. And the second tip was be aware that you may be able to select bodies, faces, or vertices or edges. And if you can't get the thing that you want to pick, remember you can right click in the tree here, select other, and choose to select the entity that you want to add. Okay, hope you find this helpful. Thanks a lot. Thank you.